those details coming from a search warrant filed by the sheriff's department. There's still a lot of questions that need to be answered, but now we know a little bit more about that night. Nervous, breathing heavy and talking fast. That's how investigators describe an interview with the last person to reportedly see 19 year old Blaze Bernstein alive. The account is in a now sealed search warrant filed by an Orange County Sheriff's investigator and obtained by the Orange County Register. In the affidavit, the friend says he picked Blaze up after making plans over Snapchat on the night of January 2nd. He says Blaze seemed depressed but never said anything about wanting to hurt himself. They drove to Borrego Park where he says Blaze walked into the darkness alone. No wallet, no money, no identification, no credit cards, no keys, no eyeglasses. His parents speaking about his disappearance before his body was found Tuesday. Investigators believe Blaze was murdered that first night. During one interview, they noticed scratches and abrasions on the friend's hand. He said it was from a fight club. They also noticed dirt under his nails, he says, from falling into a puddle. We have interviewed that friend uh, uh, several times. That person is not in custody. The affidavit says the friend's story stayed fairly consistent. They did notice after one interview, he pulled his jacket over his hands to prevent his hands and fingers from touching any part of the doors he touched. The sheriff's department did not comment on the search warrant. As the search for Blaze's killer continues, hundreds held candles and shared memories of him at a vigil last night. His family heartbroken by his death. Our family is devastated by the news. And we, like so many of you around the world, love Blaze. And we wanted nothing more than to seek his safe return. Now we are told investigators continue to follow leads and are working around the clock trying to make an arrest.